As promised, here is the video of how I prepare and put away the Nigerian ingredients we brought back from Nigeria. I will be sharing the best practices that I've adopted due to my many years of experience doing this. I should put this on my CV. <laughs> As a Nigerian, you need a very deep freezer to store these ingredients. And you need plastic bags, Ziploc bags, containers, as you will see in this video. Let's start with the easiest ones. I store abacha in a cool, dry place in a cupboard and it will be fine for years. Nothing eats abacha, not even wavels. For the ogiri, remember that it's been in the freezer ever since my mother-in-law gave it to us. So I bring out one wrap to defrost. Ogiri softens within a short time because it is one of those pastes that do not freeze kakaraka. I just transfer it into a tub like this. Cover and put it in the freezer. When you want to use it, bring it out and defrost on your kitchen counter and it will soften within a short time. For the peanut butter, it stores well in the fridge as well as in the freezer. For this our uh, Otondo container, you can scoop a small quantity into a small container. This one looks hard because it's still cold. It becomes soft at room temperature. Put the small one in the fridge to be using and put the big one in the freezer if you have space. Any day you want to scoop out more, you bring it out to defrost on its own overnight at most and that's it. Udara stores well in the freezer, so rinse thoroughly several times, rubbing off the dirt as you do so till the water runs clear. Put them in Ziploc bags or in a Tupperware and put in the freezer. When you want to enjoy it, just bring out from the freezer, leave it on your kitchen counter for about one hour and it's okay to enjoy it. For the garden eggs, again, rinse thoroughly several times if need be, put in a container like so, cover and put in the fridge. I have noticed that people are confused whenever I say fridge, freezer. Did you mean fridge or freezer? I mean what I say and I say what I mean. They're self-explanatory, are they not? <laughs> For the Tom Brown, I put it in these glass jars and store in my cupboard. To enjoy it, just warm some milk, add a few scoops of Tom Brown, some sugar, and enjoy. This one does not contain greens, so I can enjoy it like this. You can also add some brown to akamo or ogi. Normally, before we even travel to Nigeria, I clean my freezer. You can see that there's no buildup of ice in this freezer. If you have many layers of ice in there, one, you're reducing the space in the freezer and even the food items you put in such a freezer will have freezer burn. So clean your freezer before anything. In an earlier video in the series, I said that I did not buy washed bitter leaves this time because I still have a lot. Look at them. I still have several packs. Now, this is the best way to store beans if you have space in your freezer. Put that Otondo container in there as big as your beans can contain and pour in the beans. Close tight. If you don't have enough space in your freezer, I have another method. Just click the title of this video below and the description box will open up where you will find a link to that video. This is where I keep oppa. These two containers plus some behind. It's just in that compartment above my cooker. You have the extractor there. And then you have that. That's where I keep it. Put it in containers, close tight, and keep it in a cupboard here. I also have, I have a chichede over there, but I didn't buy a chichede this time, but I have dry pepper. Any other dry thing, oda, all those dry, dry things, I can keep them here. My freezer is already full, but look at all these stockfish here. One box of stockfish, crayfish, madre.
I packed some in food warmers and these ones are remaining. I'll put some in the fridge, ordinary fridge, <laughs> because everywhere is full. Four days after buying these vegetables in Oyimbo Market, I'm finally, finally unpacking them. The Uzza is still fresh. This is four days. Today is Tuesday. We came back on Sunday. I went to market on Friday. This is how fresh it still is. I wrapped it in this paper, put it here, put it in the fridge in Nigeria. The day we were about to leave, we put it in the bag just before leaving for the airport. And as soon as we came back here, in spite of how tired we were, I put it in the fridge and it's been in the fridge for one and a half days because we came back on Sunday night. This is Uziza and this is more Uziza. You see how green it still is. Uziza is a very tough vegetable. It doesn't go bad like that. This one is more Uziza. <laughs> You don't need to be told that I use Ozeza a lot. Look at this one, just because I didn't put it well. I put it, I put it this way inside in the fridge. And look at that. This is uh, cold, too much cold. That's why it's like this because normally it should still be okay. You see. See this part is because this part was touching the side of the, the inner side of the fridge and usually that place freezes look at this because it's winter look but the other parts are still pretty much okay after four days and aura is a very soft vegetable it goes back easily so that's good this one didn't touch the fridge so let's see how it is yeah, I was really tired when I came back. I wasn't paying attention to that. You see? This one. It's perfect. You see? Because it wasn't touching the fridge. You just want it in a cool place. Not too cool. Not too cold. Actually, ice was falling off. You see? This is frozen. This is ice. See? Ice was falling off from that part. So... See? this one too even though not frozen but this part was touching the inner i should have placed it stuck in so that if anything was happening to happen to the stock but like this one this one i placed it stuck in stock 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 <laughs> english so you see this one still okay for a vegetable that is four days old this is pretty good um, this one should be good. Okay. See, this one is still good. And this one too. So you see, most of them are still pretty in perfect condition. <laughs> And what is this one? This one should be saintly. Yeah. Saintly. See? Saintly. Still good. Most of them are still in good condition. So I'm going to prep these vegetables. Yeah, you, you guys know the drill. Yeah, I've made several videos on how to prep these and put in the wrap the ball, put in the freezer in preparation for cooking. <laughs> you can see that I'm picking the aura in such a way that the hard end of the leaf is left out. This is so that I can enjoy the meal. Those hard ends feel like sticks if left in. For me, oh, you guys know that I'm very picky about what I put in my mouth. Finger cutting is the best way to cut aura. The other way is slicing with a knife, but that releases the sap, the liquid. What do you call that secretion that makes the leaf darker when you cut it with a knife? And since I'm putting this in the freezer, you need to do everything possible to reduce the chances of darkening of the leaves. Putting something in the freezer already darkens it a touch. 
Baby, Biko, come, 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 come. Leave that oja that you are watching there, Biko. My husband hasn't resumed work. He's still on holiday. Baby, oh, yeah, 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 Biko, Biko, Biko. Oh, look, I can go. I know everybody has been working hard, but we can't rest till we win. Not by now. Only mama, only mama walk. All finger cut, rinse thoroughly. I always add salt to the water because it helps remove pesticides, manure, kills the bugs that may be attached to the vegetable. Some people may come and say, you should wash the vegetable before cutting it. I would say I take an exception with Oha because once Oha touches water, I, me, myself, flow, I don't want to do anything with it again. Moreover, this was finger cut. It's not the same as when you cut a vegetable with a knife. You get me, but do it in any other you wish, okay? Rinse thoroughly at least two times. That's what I do. Then rinse the ozeza. We already know that all the leaves should be thoroughly washed. I cannot stress that enough. But you see when it comes to ozeza, you should be extra thorough. Ozeza grows wild, so it often contains lots of sand, dirt, dust. So you may need to wash it like five times before the water runs clear. I'm picking out the leaves that are going bad while at it. Look at how dark the water is. Madre mia. Wash the scent leaves as well and put them in a sieve colander to strain out the water as much as possible. While we're waiting for that to happen, I label the plastic bags that I'll use to preserve them in the freezer. This is very important because once these vegetables are frozen, you'll be confused about which is which. And you don't want to be opening each pack each time to smell it, to know what it is. Once frozen, you can't perceive the aroma without opening the bag. Even at that, the aromas are so faint, yeah, when they're in the frozen state. So label the packs to avoid that stress. And put dates on it so you know the date you pack them just in case you discover one in the freezer two years down the line. <laughs> For those of you that never clean your freezer, yes, you. <laughs> Have you liked this video yet? Have you? Have you? When you feel that most of the water has drained off the leaves, slice them. and pack in plastic bags. For the aura, I put single-use quantities per bag. As you can see, I packed these ones on the 10th of January, 2023. See what they look like when frozen. Try as much as possible not to place heavy food items on top of them because when frozen, the leaves become brittle. And if you place heavy items on them, the frozen leaves will be crushed and turn into a kind of powder. They will not look palatable when you add them to the soup. I don't know if I express myself very well. I, I hope you understand what I mean here. 
When preparing ora soup with these frozen vegetables, take the frozen ora and ozeza straight from the freezer and add them into the soup while still in the frozen state. Yeah, you go from the freezer straight into the pot. That way, the veggies will still look green. Don't defrost them before adding to the soup. No, bamba. These moi moi leaves shocked me. I didn't have the time to prepare them till the 16th of January. What I did was immediately I came back from the market. I put them in plastic bags, tied up and put in the fridge. As soon as we came back here, they went back into the fridge and they've been there for 11 good days. <laughs> they still look very fresh, don't they? Finally, it's time to prep them for storage. First of all, cut off the stalks. The stalk extends to the back of the leaf to support the leaf when it's still in the wild. So this is how to make sure you take out all of the hard stock so you can easily fold the leaf when you're cooking moi moi. Can you see the dirt on my finger? Ah, oh, I tell you, these leaves are so dusty. You can also cut off the stalk in batches, then remove the extended one later. But I find this one more difficult. Do it however you want to do it. Yeah, just get it off. When done, wash the stalks and set aside. I use them as base when cooking the moi moi so they are useful. I add salt as always and use a foam sponge to meticulously clean the leaves. When I say meticulously, I mean it. Every part of the leaf needs to be washed thoroughly. I do that several times, changing the water as necessary. Look at how dirty the water from the first wash is. When happy, I rinse the leaves. Leave it in a sieve to strain the water, then fold it in half. Put in a plastic bag, add the stalks as well, tie it up and put in the freezer. Make sure it's laid flat in the freezer. Once frozen, again, the leaves will become brittle, so be careful how you handle the pack. You know when you want to take out things from your freezer, you move the items in the freezer around. Handle the pack of frozen moi moi leaves with care, else they will break into pieces and become useless. When you want to cook with it, bring it out of the freezer and keep on your kitchen counter to defrost on its own. And it will come back to original, really. Yeah, I can say it comes back to 95% original, like the original leaves. I usually just rinse it again before using. I hope I talked about everything. If I missed anything, let me know below and I will give you the answer you seek. Bye bye. See you soon.